Well, we're getting ready to start uh, more detailed construction documentation, so um, this was a chance to kind of focus uh, mostly on the monumentation, where in the past we were looking at the master plan, the building, kind of the overall um, materials of the park and stuff like that, but this time was to get input on uh, monumentation and how that would be addressed. I approached the, uh, the council probably five, six years ago, because Ridgeland has a veterans park, Bluffton has a veterans park, Beaufort has a veterans park. We didn't. And there was a lot of history in Hardyville. There were a lot of veterans came out of Hardyville and a lot of heroes came out of Hardyville. I think the, your designs are absolutely beautiful. I think there's a few little things that needed to be tweaked, um, which I gave the input on, you know, a, a, co a quiet room. I think it's important for some military um, veterans to go back and reflect and just have some quiet time. So um, I, th I think we should think of their needs as well. Uh, definitely headed in the right direction. So we know the pavilion, the plaza, and the, um, the contemplative garden are all important elements that will uh, be uh, that will stay the course of where we've been so far. It's coming. Get involved. We're going to. We're going to do some fundraisers to, to help defray the cost. Let's make this a community of a community thing. Not just just don't rely on, on on the city government to do everything. Let's really push this and, and get the whole community involved because it's going to be a, a, an area that's for the community, not just for veterans. It's for everybody.